we're gonna make a delicious turkey noodle alfredo. This is Let Us Eat. I'm Suzanne Brentway. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to use our leftover turkey once again to make a delicious turkey noodle alfredo. If you're lost for ideas for what to do with your leftover turkey, I have done the traditional Thanksgiving sandwich that has a layer of turkey, layer of mashed potatoes, layer of stuffing. On bread, you can add cheese, you can add tomato, dip it in gravy, you can do whatever you want with those sandwiches. They're delicious and awesome. And I made a shepherd's pie with the leftover mashed potatoes, a stuffing turkey, and added some mixed vegetables to it to give it some nutrition. And it came out perfect. It was awesome. And then with my leftover cranberries, because I don't normally serve cranberry sauce at Thanksgiving, but I had a can, I mixed up some Bisquick waffle mix. And I made cranberry waffles for breakfast. So we used those canned cranberries that were given to me and nothing went to waste. If you are new here, thank you so much for checking me out and giving me a chance. Thank you to everyone who supports me each and every day. My subscribe guy is directing you to go ahead and smash this video's like button. Don't forget to smash on the subscribe button down below. Don't forget to tap on that bell. We're going to go over to my fridge and get what I need and my pantry shelves. And we're going to throw together this quick and easy turkey noodle alfredo. Those are my pantry shelves. If you watch all my videos, you know I keep them organized and I go through them monthly to make sure they stay organized. And I have a bag of my egg noodles, which I am going to use from the Dollar Tree. It is 12 ounces. From the refrigerator, we're going to get the rest of the leftover turkey, which I should have a whole container of, and get it chopped up for the Alfredo. This is going to be a real quick, easy dinner for your skillet. We're going to boil the noodles first, and then I'm going to prep the turkey with my seasonings in the Alfredo, and we're going to throw it all together. From the freezer, you're going to need a bag of broccoli to go onto your skillet. I'm going to grab my skillet from the side here. I'm going to heat it up. Always sprinkle with salt first. That way the butter and the oils don't splatter in your face. Spray it about three or four times around. Now we're going to grab my kitchen shears and we're going to cut up the turkey. I'm grabbing my pot, I'm going to fill it up with the egg noodles. I'm going to take a little bit of vegetable oil in the pan. Half a tablespoon dropping on in. Get those water boiling for the noodles here. First thing I'm going to do is add the broccoli. Always make sure I got the correct burners on. Nothing's frozen and it's going to cook longer. And they look like florets, but they're nice and big. And this is a 16 ounce bag. Set that aside for the Dollar Tree Empties video. If you're new to my channel, I review food products once or twice a month of stuff that my family has consumed. That one of my wooden spoons and one of my favorite knives disappeared. I haven't been able to find it anywhere. I have here my Alfredo, and this is a 14.5 ounce can. 
by Prego, and we're going to dump it onto the broccoli. Also purchased at the Dollar Tree along with the egg noodles and the broccoli. Dump that right onto the can. Out of the can and onto the frying pan. Now we're going to take our leftover turkey. On here and cut it down into bite sized pieces. I'm going to set aside some white for my tween who doesn't like to eat a lot of different things. Very, very picky child. If you follow my lunch videos, I have innovative ways to feed my picky kid. In my crock pot, I have going. A big pot of turkey soup with the carcass. And I'm making bone broth soup with homemade broth. It's going to be fabulous. Not part of the video, but I will show you what it looks like because it's simmering as we speak. Make sure there's no bones in the Alfredo. And there really isn't that much left, so. I'll be doing a turkey again in February. I have two turkeys. Making sure that the bones are not blended in here. There we go. leftover turkey on the bone here. I'm just going to put into my crock pot. Once this water comes to a raging boil, I'll add the noodles. Okay, that is just bone in here. And this is going to go into my crock pot. Now that the turkey is in, let's go ahead and mix the alfredo with the broccoli and the turkey. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to the water here, which I have not done yet. To the pan here, you're going to add three teaspoons of fresh cracked black pepper. I'm out of my leftover turkey after the skillet dinner. The Alfredo. Turn the water down. Otherwise I do a turkey pot pie or turkey and dumplings, which I've been seeing around Facebook. I'm going to keep those recipes for next year or in February when I do my other turkey. I'm going to turn the heat on the left up to six and a half so the broccoli has time to cook. That was about a cup and a half of turkey that I chopped up with my scissors there. nicely when the broccoli is cooking. And get ready to put the noodles into the crock pot. These are also from the Dollar Tree. This time of year you can find beans, rice, as well as egg noodles. This 
a little bit at a time. I'm not going to be cooking the entire bag. Now the noodles are going to cook for about three to five minutes. And then you're going to have to finish cooking on the frying pan here. This is steaming nicely. I'm going to turn it down to three and a half. Great way to use leftovers. You could do this with chicken too. This is coming along nicely and it smells so good. And the Prego Alfredo, if you haven't tried it before, it's delicious. I'm going to sneak in about a tablespoon of Parmesan. I love Parmesan, also from the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is the turkey. Although they still can turkey occasionally. Keep your eyes out. It's next to the chicken and the canned hams. And they have canned ham occasionally too. I have some canned ham from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be doing a ham salad soon. Now we're not going to cook this completely. The noodles. Just till they're about al dente. Then I'm going to throw them into the skillet with the turkey and the broccoli and the alfredo sauce. I'm going to grab my colander and get that ready. I have the water running in the background. Of course, I'm going to dump the noodles out in a moment and then transfer them to the skillet. I'm going to use about a teaspoon of the water from the pot on my alfredo sauce so it thickens up nicely along with the parmesan I just added. I think I'm gonna walk. That would be great for these kinds of meals. I had this iron skillet, but I didn't really use it that well, and I ended up giving it to someone. The broccoli is cooked, and it's nice and tender. I'm gonna go ahead and drain and rinse these noodles. And I'll be right back. It is okay if they're not completely cooked because we're going to finish cooking on the skillet. That may look like a lot on the skillet, but it's really not. Make sure our noodles are blended in with the broccoli and the alfredo. Send it against the splash of pasta water because it already has the alfredo in it and I don't want it too watery. The pasta itself will help thicken up everything with the with the parmesan that I sprinkled on. I'm going to reduce the heat to two and a half, and I'm going to let it cook for about 10 minutes.
here's what it looks like on the skillet. It smells so good, everybody. Here's my big, huge pot of turkey soup with the carcass in it and all the bones. And I just put those extra bones with all that meat on it into the crock pot. There's all those vegetables and everything just bursting out at you. And I have a bland cube that's doing its magic to make that delicious homemade this broth. This should be done in a couple of minutes. I'm just checking on the noodles to make sure they cooked on the skillet here. Everything looks fantastic. Remove the skillet from the stove top and put everything into the bowl. I'm going to put some on a plate so we all can see what it looks like. That is going to take an SOS pad. Let's get it onto a plate. Let's get some onto a plate. Nice big broccoli and turkey pieces with your leftover turkey to make a delicious turkey noodle alfredo. Here's what it looks like on my plate. And some behind the scenes look here. I'll be washing up some pots and pans in a little while. The noodles got stuck on the frying pan, which is fine. There wasn't that many of them there. Just put away some dishes soon. The countertop. And there's the crock pot. The homemade delicious turkey bone broth soup. And I'll make sure that the stovetop and everything is cleaned up. A little bit the of behind the scenes. sauce stick it up nicely between the noodles and the Parmesan cheese that I put on it. There's lots of broccoli pieces and turkey with your leftover turkey here. And then some egg noodles, broccoli, and Alfredo sauce from the Dollar Tree. Three dollars. Then you add in the cost of your leftovers depending on your family size. You have an inexpensive meal to really stretch those dollars. I let it cool down. This is delicious. Turkey noodle alfredo on a that budget. Is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me make that turkey noodle alfredo. It was real easy to do with some Dollar Tree items and leftover turkey to really save you money to stretch that dollar further, give you more bang for your buck. And I want to help you reduce your food costs by using five ingredients or less to feed a family of four more. And that broccoli turkey alfredo is going to feed a lot. And you can serve it with some garlic toast, maybe some nibble corn, or whatever you would like. If you're new, I really appreciate you giving me a chance. Thank you to everyone who supports me each and every day. My subscribe guy just popped up. He's asking you to go ahead and smash that like button. He's directing you to smash on that subscribe button down below. Don't forget about the 800 milestone giveaway. We are approaching that slowly. When we do, we'll issue out those two $10 Dollar Tree gift cards. You must be a United States resident. If you're new, you must comment you are new in order to qualify. If you comment, you must already be subscribed. All of that information is always down below in my description box.